Um, I figured maybe we could do some testing today um, about flux core, right? And how much does the actual memory matter? Now, this is, once again, just to clarify, this is in an alpha stage. It's, it's, this is not like fully released. So I'm, I'm sure the benchmarking is gonna change. The use of the RAM is gonna change, but I just kind of want to see like, why don't we do like a comparison like now and get it on a spreadsheet, right? And this way, when they do a new iteration, right? Or another benchmark or they do another release, right? We could retest this again and see if any of this changes, right? This way we can kind of see exactly how does the memory affect our benchmarking score, right? And this way we can watch it, you know, at every iteration of their development, right? So I expect memory eventually will play a, pre a pretty big role um, because the proof of useful work isn't live right now and all that stuff. So, and I think most of the benchmarking is pretty much GPU bound. So it's, we'll see, we'll see what it plays off with though. But let me share my screen here. We're going to, let's get a benchmark going here. So, well, I guess let's go over what I have in here so far. So the amount of RAM, I have 256 gigs to start with. So we're just gonna, that's what I left it at. We'll just start at the top and we're not gonna just take out one stick at a time. I'm gonna do like 256, 128, 64, 32, you know, so forth. I'm not gonna do like one stick at a time because I'd literally be here forever. So we'll do it in increments. So there's no dark mode on this either. Okay. Our benchmark is finished though. So we got 3601 overall on the AI. Uh, AI interfer uh, interference, we did 1644. AI training, we did 19357. Blender, we did 169.4. Uh, and that's pretty much all we're gonna be looking for in, in this, because the rest of them is just related to the disks. And that this that doesn't change, so it doesn't matter. Is this time I don't think it picked up that we had less RAM. I think it's one, two, three, four, five, eight. See, it still it still thought we had all of the dims populated, but we don't. Right? So ah, there we go. Now it picked it up. So um let's go ahead and go over to overview here, uh benchmark and uh, let's go ahead and start benchmarking again. Let's get this guy rolling. Oh, it does that when it stops. You got to go back and forth. So, yeah, we dropped about 800 on the overall AI. The AI interference looks like we dropped about 500 points. And the AI training, I don't know, that's minuscule. That could be just an error. That's like less than 200. So, and Blender, Blender is minuscule, one point, you know, that could just be error. That, you know, I wouldn't even count that one. It looks like the biggest one that had a hit, though, was the AI interference, which was about 500 points difference. So let's go ahead, let's boot, turn the machine off, let's do 64 gigs of RAM. Now. We had 128, so now let's do 64. Okay, now let's go back to our, oh, there it is, Ubuntu 20.04. Uh, I'm not even gonna bother changing the name. Okay, so now we're down to two memory dims now. We're at 32 gigs of RAM. So let's go ahead and let's go back to our benchmark and crank her on current score at 64 gigs and the test has stopped. So, so we've dropped a total of a thousand points um, between 256 and 64 gigs of RAM. But let's go to the individual testing. So on the AI interference, it looks like we started with 16,644. And now see, this is what I'm saying. There's there's discrepancies in the testing, right? Because look, this is 16,117 on 128. This testing here is 16,126. So I'm not sure, and I am rescanning the hardware every time I reboot to make sure that the system knows how much memory is in it, right? Now, it looks like the 
biggest one that we dumped on is going to be the AI training. We were at 19,357 to start, and now we've dropped all the way down to 18,891. So we've dropped about 500 points in score between 256, 128, and 64 gigs of RAM. So, and our Blender score is, this is, see, this is where some of the testing doesn't make sense to me. But then again, I'm not an AI expert, but I'm just, I just wanna see what numbers are, right? So here we are, we're at 1694 when we first started at 256. 128, we dropped one point. Okay, no big deal. We got a higher score <laughs> with 64 gigs of RAM than we did with 256. But this is probably minuscule. This is with, within a reason of error, right? If you probably did three tests, these numbers probably wouldn't change, right? Now, um, now this AI training score is a big difference, right? It's like 500 points. So that doesn't surprise me. Um, we're gonna turn it off again. We're going to unseat some RAM, lower it down from 64 to 32 gigs of memory. Well, I guess for the people who just joined us, this is on a, oh, that's right. I already did the rescan of the hardware. So we started with 256 gigs of RAM. We're down to one single 32 gig stick. And then I'm gonna start breaking out the four gig sticks, right? For 16, eight and four. Um, I have an E5 2698 V3. It's 16 cores and 32 threads with a two terabyte Samsung 970 Evo. NVMe from your boy Brandon Coin, and then I have a 3080 in there, and obviously I'm on Ubuntu, and I'm using a Dell motherboard because it is a workstation. And let's go ahead and let's see if the benchmark works from here. Uh, all tests, and let's run the benchmark. Oh, we don't even have to go to that page. That is super nice and clean. I like that. So we got 34210 on this last poll overall, our AI interference is 15,364. So we finally dropped down to 15,000. We were always at around 16,000. This is our first poll at 16, six, uh, 16,644. And our current poll is 15,300 or 15,364. So that's about a 1300 point difference between 256 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of RAM, right? So not a huge loss here. I think the AI training is going to be a big dip though. So we were at 19,357 when we first started, and now we're down to 18,846. So actually we dipped more in the other AI interface level this time than we did in the training. Lately, it's been the training we've been dropping off you know, a couple hundred points every time we take some off, but this time it only went down by 50. So it'll be interesting to see if we drop down to 16, you know, how much does each of these drop off, right? Now, Blender, see, Blender is, it's, it's still at 16, it's still at 16, 19. It's, it's just like, I don't care. So obviously this, this gives no Fs about RAM so far. Let's go ahead, turn it off. Make sure that we're, we got it. We got four giggers in there. There we go. Okay. Let's go ahead and let's start this bad thing right here. What's weird is that sometimes this comes up and doesn't go away. It went away that time. Okay. Now see, this is, this is the inconsistency I'm telling you about. Okay. Now look, we went down to a single 32 gig stick. Whereas now we're using the dual channel, 16 gigs, which I could repopulate this back with a bunch of four gig sticks and make it 32 to make it dual channel. But maybe there is a performance hit being on single channel because this was one, this last score was on a single 32 gig stick. Uh, was 34 to 10. And now our score is 3185, which is weird, right? Because that, look, this is 256. This is 128, 64, uh, 32, and then this brings it back up to 35, 187. 
which this is in the range of 128. So it could very well be that having your memory in dual channel is key. Because if you look at the score right here, there's not a big score difference between 128 and, and the 16 gigs, right? I mean, look at it. It's like 100 points. It's like nothing. So see, this is, this is why we test. So it looks it's looking more like it could be actual channels that make more of a difference, right? Because look, we dip down. Uh, let me just go back here to my first test. We're, we're down right here on this line. OK, so our first test for AI training was right there, right here at 19. Three five seven. We kept dipping down. But look, we're back up to nineteen three oh five. We're all the way back up here to where we're back in dual channel, right? These two are single channels. This is two thirty two gig six and a single thirty two gig six, right? So you do see a performance hit in single channel modes. Hmm, interesting. What about Blender? Blender is the highest score we've had. This is 256 right here at 1619.4. This is 162019. Makes no sense to me. So that makes no sense. So let's go ahead, set her down to eight gigs. We're gonna click out of this thing. We're gonna rescan our hardware again. So that's interesting. that we only we only took a performance hit because we went from dual channel down to single channel. It wasn't the amount of RAM that was causing it. It was just the configuration of the RAM, right? So super, super interesting here. So let's make sure we got two sticks in there. What we got, let's go ahead and I like to test all these buttons. I like to test everything. I'll test this guy out. Then we'll start. Might see a little lag here. It's going to benchmark me here. So, okay. See, now I'm baffled. I, I don't get this. The scoring is leaving me. I don't understand it. Okay. This is what I'm telling you. Weird testing. Hey, okay, look. 256. Fully populated. All eight dims, right? 128, take half the dims away, right? 64, another half. Then we're down to a single stick of 32 gigs. Four gigs of 16. And then look, two gigs of eight. Look at the score difference. It's higher than 16. I, I, I don't understand this. But once again, we're in alpha, so I'm just taking it for a test drive. Okay, so our first score was 16644. Our current score down the line is we're at 16361. So it's not even that far off. And then the AI training, 13 9 or 18 989, and we were at 19357. And then I doubt Blender moved. Blender moved by a point. It's been up and down a point, so it's probably like that's within a reason of error, right? Not like huge. Looks like the blender's all good to go. Last test, four gigs of RAM. Hey, I mean, hey, free R and D for Flux right now, right? Live recorded video. You guys can rewatch it, take the test results, do what you want with it. All right. Go ahead, let's run our benchmark of all tests. And it always does the speed test first. Compared to our 3601 we started with. So it is the worst by far. 1524 and we started with 16, 644. So not a huge drop in points there. And Blender is that's just all GPU. It it gives no Fs about the memory. So 
so well there you guys go man that is the uh that was that will conclude the testing right there so i'll be interested to see what the old flux team has to say about it so